Uh, thank you very much, uh, Speaker, and I would like to uh, support the ratification of the various protocols under the maritime uh, labor conventions and also thank the committee for actually bringing this to the House. But I also want to share the sentiments of my colleagues that probably should have brought them uh, one after the other instead of all of them at the same time. But uh, more importantly, uh, Mr. Speaker, is that uh, the blue economy uh, in, the, in this country is one untapped potential. And uh, the coast region would not be what it for is right now if uh, we have we've really if we had put effort into the blue economy and this country will be the richer. But um, uh, looking at what this government has been doing and trying to push uh, uh, for the revival or a revolution, the economic revolution through the blue economy, it's on the right path. But the question is, what is the investment? investment in terms of the laws, in terms of uh, uh, funds, and in terms of personnel, in terms of infrastructure. Today, if you want to train one child into seafaring or become a seafarer, it is one of the most expensive things. The license, the license for seafaring today is one of the most expensive things, such that the children or the people or the youth at the coast will not even afford it. So we are encouraging them. And the, uh, the government opened the Bandari College and made it uh, a, a, an academy, a seafaring a maritime academy. But then to take one kid through that process is, 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 is very expensive. Why? Because the international license for seafarers is a very expensive thing. And therefore, we need to bring down the cost. And I hope that these uh, treaties and conventions that we are ratifying will actually bring down the cost. Again, who are the people who are training the people to give them, them these licenses? The one or two people, one or two international organizations. It's been a closed shop. The people who are training, if you go to Mombasa, they'll tell you only two people are able to give those licenses. Now, because of that monopoly, it makes it even more difficult for a child to be admitted there. So what, so what that, does that mean? Seafaring jobs are no, not available to the local people that uh, people from other countries come in and do these, these things. But we also know that seafarers are one of the well-paid well -paid jobs. The other thing is the curricula. The curricula for training, for example, the cooks, the, 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 the people who work in the, in the, in, in the boats or in the, the big boats that go out the ship. The curricula is not available in this country. People have to be trained elsewhere. To get a child, to a young person to go out there to get the training becomes even more expensive. Who are the owners of the vessels? Who are the owners of the vessels? Kenya does not own these vessels. It's other people, foreigners, foreign companies that own these vessels. To get a child to be admitted into that is another Herculean task. But I hope and look forward to the domestication of these, of these uh, protocols so that young people from the coast and in this country can get an opportunity, one, to reduce the cost of the license, to make training available, and to make this country also have their own vessels that they can use to ensure that uh, seafaring jobs can be available to the people in this country. On the matter of the blue economy, the blue economy is a huge, huge thing. Huge. Huge. It can increase the GDP of this country probably three-folds. But then, what is that investment that this country... It has just remained in paper. It has been policy statements. It has been, you know, but there hasn't been a deliberate grand push. And I want to use the word grand. Grand push by government to ensure that this economy is exploited and people actually... Today, fishing trawlers from other countries come and fish in this country. We are told they have to leave 70% of the proceeds here. But they still go and process the fish you know, in other places. You go to a place like Lamu, where you have uh, an open ocean, where fishing, big time fishing would be done. But then it is Japanese and other people who come and do the fishing, take the fish elsewhere, and actually do not give us our... So there has to be, and I want to challenge the ministry, and probably this country needs to set up a ministry for blue economy that will have a budget, have personnel, and have resources so that these treaties and these protocols that have come to this house today would make more sense to this country, would be more profitable, and will actually...
Yeah, very well. I'm sure the chair, I could tell the 